U.S. pole vaulter Katie Najat has taken home the gold, beating out all of her competitors from the Russian Olympic Committee and Great Britain. For more on this now, I'd like to bring in our Kenneth Moten from Tokyo. He's been with us following all the games. Kenneth, just how big of a win was that for Katie? She's sure happy. She is, and it's always a big deal when you win a gold medal, right, Kira? But it's even bigger when you do it by defeating the world champion, that Russian athlete who took silver, Katie Najat there. Uh, she was just incredible, just a great performance. She said her first few jumps were ugly, but the one that counted was oh so pretty, Kira. It was so pretty. It was 4.90 uh, meters. That's a little more than 16 feet that she cleared. It's also what the pole vaulter did to get that gold medal. Incredible. All right. Well, not so pretty, unfortunately. Now more than 5,000 new positive COVID-19 cases there in Tokyo. What is that? About 178 percent increase since last Thursday when we were talking and a new record for the city. Right. So just put it in perspective. How bad is the COVID crisis in the city and what's it like to move around there and be there? Well, Kira, this is a major city that is still operating. It is a city that is still masked up, so social distancing, following strict COVID protocols, uh, but it's also trying to get that low vaccination rate up as well. It's concerned about the Delta variant, and that's why we see a state of emergency not only here in Tokyo, but also in the surrounding areas that will be in effect uh, long after these games are over. But you mentioned that uh, new daily positive cases, a little more than 5,000. That is a high for Tokyo throughout this entire pandemic, just incredible numbers. But when you look at the Olympic numbers, the numbers of positive cases tied to the Olympic Games, that number is about 350. And so Olympic officials say the Olympic bubble is holding up, it's doing its job. The COVID protocols they have there with the Olympics is working as far as how it compares to what's happening with the city of Tokyo. So the, again, they say it's working. Um, and again, we only have a few days left of these Olympic games. Well, I'll tell you what else is working. Uh, that's all your punches and your kicks because before we let you go, <laughs> Kenneth, we must hear more about KMO in Tokyo. <laughs> Today is yes, the first day. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> today's the first day of the karate competition in Tokyo. We heard that you, uh, I don't know, have been training up, maybe going to compete. <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to be your bodyguard, Kira, when I get back to the States. <laughs> I'll take it. I heard you may need one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, karate debuted here at the Tokyo Olympics. And what better place than Japan, Okinawa, the birthplace of the martial art. And I want to talk about what happened today uh, with that debut match there. It was a little bit of an upset, uh, Kira, between Japan and Spain. It was Sandra Sanchez of Spain who took the very first karate Olympic goal. It wasn't Japan. It was Spain. But she is the uh, reigning world champion here, so it really shouldn't be a surprise. Karate practice all over this world, but it means so much to the Japanese culture. And so, yes, we decided to um, get a little instruction. And so we found a master, we found a sensei, we found an instructor uh, to help us, show us some moves, uh, to tell us about the importance of karate. Uh, she showed me a few things, some basic techniques, I mean like real basic. Kira, but she also has some moves of her own. She was so impressive, and we cannot wait to show that to our viewers tomorrow right here on ABC News Live. <laughs> and I love also how you were sporting your ABC News uh, gear there, so everybody was well aware who you were representing in Tokyo. <laughs> You got to wear the uniform. You got to wear the uniform. Did you like that? You like what you saw, Kira? Oh, I love those moves. And the Jane Fonda headband. Glad you were bringing that back. Or maybe that was Richard Simmons. I have to think about that. Okay, Chris loved that. My it was a mix of love both. That. It was a mix Going of both. Going old school. KMO in Tokyo. Love you. Love you, Kira. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.